Ever heard that money doesn't grow on trees, or that you must work hard to get rich? These sayings, repeated through generations, might seem like wise advice. But what if they're part of a broader narrative that's been holding you back from true financial freedom? From the classroom to the living room, our society often reinforces a cycle of living paycheck to paycheck, teaching us to manage money in ways that keep us broke rather than building wealth. But what if I told you that getting rich isn't as hard as it seems? That, in fact, with the right knowledge and tools, transforming your financial future is well within your grasp. In this video, we'll debunk the myths, expose the truths, and set you on a path not just to earn, but to accumulate wealth. Let's retrain your approach to money and uncover how getting rich can be easier than you've been led to believe. Stay tuned. 1. The mindset of mediocrity. Society often sets the stage for our financial destinies before we even understand the concept of money. From an early age, we are bombarded with messages that shape our views on wealth and success. Think about it. Schools teach us to follow rules, not to innovate. Jobs often reward tenure over talent, and financial advice from our families usually emphasizes caution over courage. Consider the story of Emily, who grew up in a family where the motto was save, don't spend. Her parents, wary of the stock market, kept their savings in a bank account earning minimal interest. Emily inherited this fear of investing, leaving her savings to stagnate, missing out on years of potential growth through investments. Then there's Jay. Raised in a community where wealth was viewed with suspicion, Jay was taught to believe that the rich got that way by exploiting others. This mindset steered him away from pursuing his own business ideas, convinced that success meant compromising his values. These stories are common and highlight how deeply ingrained beliefs can lead us to a mindset of mediocrity. We adhere to what's safe and familiar, avoiding risks that could lead to substantial financial gains. But what if you could break free from these mental constraints? Changing your mindset is the first critical step towards financial breakthrough. It's about shifting from a mentality of mere survival to one of thriving. It's about seeing money not as an enemy or a mere tool for survival, but as a resource to be leveraged for growth and prosperity. As we move forward, remember that the first investment on the road to wealth is an investment in changing your mindset. Let's explore how to cultivate a mindset that sees opportunities where others see obstacles. 2. Financial literacy. Your first tool to wealth. If knowledge is power, then financial literacy is the superpower of the wealthy. It starts with mastering the basics, budgeting, saving, and understanding how money works. First, budgeting. It's about knowing where every dollar goes. Think of it as your financial blueprint. It helps you control your spending, prioritize your financial goals, and ensure you're always investing in your future rather than just managing the present. Next, saving. While it sounds straightforward, Effective saving is about more than just stashing away money. It's about setting up an emergency fund to cover unexpected expenses, which keeps you from falling into debt. It's also about planning for larger investments that can grow over time, like buying a home or investing in stocks. To dive deeper, plenty of resources can help. Books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki and The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey offer foundational insights. Online platforms like Khan Academy provide free courses on personal finance. And don't forget podcasts such as The Dave Ramsey Show or So Money with Fonush Tarabi, where you can hear from experts and everyday people alike. Now, for some actionable tips to boost your financial literacy right away. First, start tracking your expenses today. Use a simple app like Mintorin app to see where your money is going each month. Second, automate your savings. Set up your bank account to automatically transfer funds to a savings account every payday. Finally, dedicate at least one hour a week to learning about finance. This could be reading an article, watching a financial tutorial, or discussing money management strategies with a mentor. Remember, building wealth isn't just about making money. It's about knowing how to manage it. Financial literacy isn't taught in most schools. But it's a critical tool for breaking out of the paycheck to paycheck cycle and towards accumulating real wealth. 3. The Wealth Formula Understanding the difference between earning money and accumulating wealth is fundamental. Earning money is about the paycheck you receive at the end of the month, 
Wealth accumulation is about what you do with that paycheck to create a future income stream. Imagine your income as water flowing from a tap. If you use all the water immediately, nothing is left once it's turned off. But if you channel some of that water into a reservoir, think investments like stocks or real estate, you are setting up a source that can replenish itself and grow over time. Let's talk about those investments. Starting with stocks, buying a share means owning a piece of a company. As the company grows, so does your investment. Real estate, on the other hand, involves purchasing property to rent or sell at a profit. Both avenues offer opportunities for passive income money that you earn without active involvement. Consider Sarah, who started by investing a small portion of her income into stocks. Over the years, her disciplined reinvestment of dividends has grown her initial modest portfolio into a substantial nest egg. Then there's Miguel, who purchased a duplex as a rental property. The rental income covers the mortgage and expenses, with extra profit he reinvests into more properties. This is where the concept of compounding comes in. It's not just about making money. It's about making your money make more money over time. By reinvesting gains, Sarah and Miguel have utilized compound growth to significantly enhance their wealth. You don't need a windfall to start investing. You can begin with small amounts, even with investing apps that round up your purchases and invest the change. The key is consistency and patience. The sooner you start, the more you benefit from compounding, turning modest savings into major wealth. 4. Common traps to avoid. While navigating your financial journey, it's crucial to avoid several common traps that can derail your progress toward wealth. First, debt. It's like quicksand for your finances. The more you have, the harder it is to escape. High interest debt from credit cards or loans can grow faster than you can pay it down, eating away at your potential to save and invest. It's essential to manage and minimize debt, prioritizing high interest balances to free up your financial resources for growth. Next, lifestyle creep. This is what happens when your spending on non-essentials increases as your income grows. Suddenly, the extra money you once had to save or invest gets swallowed by bigger bills and unnecessary luxuries. Maintaining a budget and being mindful of your spending, regardless of income level, helps safeguard your financial future. And finally, beware of quick fixes. It's tempting to jump on opportunities promising big returns with little effort, like speculative investments or pyramid schemes. Real wealth is built slowly through consistent, wise investments, not overnight gambles. Always research thoroughly and invest in assets with proven long-term yields. By steering clear of these traps debt, lifestyle creep, and the allure of quick fixes you set yourself up for sustainable financial success. Remember, the goal isn't just to make money, but to make your money work effectively for you over time. 5. Building your wealth plan. Armed with financial literacy and an understanding of what to avoid, it's time to build your wealth plan. This is your roadmap to financial freedom, tailored by you, for you. Assess your current financial situation. List your incomes, expenses, assets, and liabilities. This snapshot is your starting point, helping you understand what you have and what you owe. Set clear, achievable goals. Whether it's paying off debt, saving for a home, or investing in retirement, your goals should be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Break them into short-term and long-term to keep things manageable. Create a budget that fits your goals. Allocate portions of your income to different needs. Necessities, savings, debts, and investments. Use tools like budgeting apps or financial software to keep track. Diversify your investments. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your investments across stocks, bonds, real estate, and other vehicles. Diversification reduces risk and maximizes returns over time. Commit to ongoing education and adjustment. The financial world is always evolving, and staying informed helps you make better decisions and adapt your plan as necessary. Remember, creating wealth is a marathon, not a sprint. It requires persistence, patience, and continuous learning. Keep pushing forward, even when setbacks occur. Celebrate small victories along the way to motivate yourself and maintain momentum. Your financial journey is unique, and your plan should reflect your personal ambitions and life circumstances. Start today, and revise as you grow.
Every step you take is a step closer to financial independence. Start with one new financial habit today. Small steps lead to big changes. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights and tips. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and share it with someone who could benefit from it. Join our community to continue your journey to financial freedom.